I'll be using two colors to make the circle coaster but you guys can just use whatever color you guys want and for this one I decided to use three as you can see for the checkered I have two colors but for the ruffles I use a different color so it is totally up to you so to start you're going to make a slip knot so just make a loop like this and insert it through any of your fingers i'm just gonna insert it here and then you're going to twist your finger like so so it can have this x shape now while keeping the shape just release it from your finger and take the working yarn and put it on top now take your crochet hook pull through the working yarn to the loop and tighten it up Now you're just going to tighten it up like this. Now you're going to chain 10. So to chain, just yarn over and pull through like so. Now just continue making the chains until you have a total of 10 chains. Now in the second chain, you're going to make one single crochet. So just insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop and then pull through two loops. And then in the next stitch, you're going to insert an increase, meaning you're going to insert two single crochet into the same stitch. And before you finish off this stitch, you are going to take your next color and put it on your hook like this. And then you're going to pull through the two loops like so. So now we are going to work with the green yarn and i am going to make five single crochet meaning you are going to insert one single crochet in the next five stitches and remember to carry this two cell as you walk over the single crochet so one two three four so i'm not gonna carry this green cell anymore because i have carried it enough and it's already kind of short so now i am making the last stitch with the green yarn so now you're going to change your color into your next color like so so just yarn over and pull through both loops then in the next stitch you're going to insert an increase so one and then insert another single crochet in the same stitch and then insert one single crochet in the next stitch so the last stitch is going to be a little tight so this is how it looks like now you are going to chain one and turn your work to the back now you need to know which one is the front and which one is the back of your project so this is the front of our project and this one right here that have excess yarn is the back of our project so you will have to carry the non-working yarn at the back of your project not at the front like this because you have to make sure that the front of your project is always neat so if you work at the front like this the non-working yarn is going to be placed at the back but if you are working at the back then the non-working yarn is going to be placed facing you like this this is your first stitch and this is your chain one you are going to insert a single crochet in the first stitch now remember to carry the non-working yarn as you make the single crochet and in the first stitch insert one single crochet and then in the next stitch you're going to make an increase which means you're going to insert two single crochet in the same stitch so I'll just insert one more and in the next stitch insert one single crochet and before you finish off the last stitch, remember to change your yarn into your next color. So just grab onto it and pull through the two loops. And I'm just going to adjust this a little so that the single crochet looks the same as the other. Now just continue inserting 5 single crochet. 1 2 3 four and five and then change your color again so just pull through like so now just bring the non-working yarn to the back because right now we are working at the back side of our project so just bring it like this and now you are going to carry it at the back like so 
Now in the first stage, you are going to insert one single crochet. Then insert two single crochet in the next stage, meaning you will have to make an increase. So one, and then, and two. So now in the last stage, you're going to insert one single crochet. I'm just gonna use my nails to go through this stitch because it's kind of hard to get into so i'm just gonna make one single crochet and then we will finish up the single crochet just change short color and chain one now we are working at the front side of our project so we're going to place the non-working yarn at the back like so so now to start around three you're going to make one single crochet with the green color first and then change your yarn into the next color then in the next stitch, you are going to make an increase. So just insert two single crochet in the next stitch. Then continue inserting one single crochet in the next two stitches. Before you finish up this stitch, go ahead and change your color and make five single crochet with the green yarn. Meaning you're going to insert one single crochet in the next five stitches. So two three four and before you finish off the fifth stitch change your color again now you're going to insert one single crochet in the next two stitches and then the second single crochet and then in the next stitch you are going to insert an increase and before you finish off the increase go ahead and change your color and in the last stitch you're going to insert one single crochet So right now, this is how mine looks like. Now moving on to round 4, you're going to start by chaining 1 and turn your work to the back. Now you're going to carry the non-working yarn facing you like this. Now in the first stitch, you are going to insert 1 single crochet. Then before you finish up the single crochet, go ahead and change your color and then bring the non-working yarn to the back like so. Then you are going to insert one single crochet in the next two stitches. So one and two. Then in the next stitch, you are going to insert two single crochet. Meaning you will have to make an increase. Then in the next stitch, just insert one single crochet, and before you finish up the stitch change your color again now you are going to insert one single crochet in the next five stitches one two three four and before you finish up this stitch change your color again then you're going to insert one single crochet in the next two stitches so one and two then you're going to make an increase one and two then insert one single crochet in the next stitch and change your color then in the last stitch you're just going to insert one single crochet before you finish up the single crochet change your color into your next color and then chain one then turn your work to the back now in the first stitch you are going to insert an increase so just insert two single crochet in the same stitch one and before you finish off the increase change your color into your green yarn and then pull through both loops then go ahead and make five single crochet Two, three, four, and then in this stitch, you're going to change your color. Then again, you're going to make five single crochet. One, two, three, 
four and then change your color again and make five single crochet one two three four and then in the fifth stage you're going to change your color so grab the yarn and push through the two loops then in the last stage you're going to insert an increase so just insert two single crochet into the same stage now just do another one now moving on to round six just turn your work to the back like so now you are going to insert an increase in the first stitch and remember to carry your non-working yarn with you so then insert one more single crochet into the same stitch then in the next stitch you are going to insert one single crochet before you finish up the single crochet pick up your next color and pull through the two loops then i'm just gonna adjust this a little now what you're going to do is you're just going to insert one single crochet in each of this stitch until you are left with two stitches so insert five single crochet right here with the green yarn and five single crochet here and five single crochet here so i'm just going to do this off camera and i'll see you once i'm done now i am making the last five single crochet and before i finish up the single crochet i'm just going to change my color now in the next stitch you're going to insert one single crochet Then, in the last stitch, you're going to insert an increase. So, insert two single crochet into the same stitch. One. And two. Then, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And remember to carry your yarn as you work over the single crochet. Now, you're going to make three single crochet. Meaning, you're going to insert one single crochet in the next three stitches. two and before i finish off this last stitch i'm just gonna pick up my next color then i am going to make five single crochet one two three four and then i'm gonna pick up my next color and again, make 5 single crochet. Honestly, for round 7 and round 8, you're just going to insert 1 single crochet in each of these stitch. But you just remember to change the color according to each of the checkered pattern. Again, I'm just going to insert 5 single crochet. Then I'm just going to pick up the next color and make 3 single crochet. So just insert 1 single crochet in each of the stitch. Okay, so for round 8, you're just going to repeat the same exact step as round 7, which basically just insert one single crochet in every stitch, but remember to change the color accordingly. So I'll see you once you're done with round 8. So right now I am doing the last 2 stitches. So before I finish up this last stitch, I am going to pick up my next color. And then I'm going to chain 1 and turn my work to the back. Now for round 9 and 10, it is the same exact step as round 7 and 8 which is just inserting one single crochet in every stitch. Just a little different because you have to change the color position to make the checkered pattern. So first insert one single crochet in the next 3 stitches with my green yarn. 2 And before I finish up this stitch, I'm going to pick up my next color. And then make 5 single crochet with the white yarn. One, two, three, four, and before I finish up this stitch, change my color again and then make five single crochet with the green yarn. Two, three, four, 
and then change my color again one two three four and then before I finish off this stitch, I'm going to change my color again and insert one single crochet in the next three stitches. So for round 10, you are just going to repeat the same exact step. So I'll see you once you're done with round 10. So next, you're going to chain one and then turn your work. Now in the first stitch right here, you're going to insert one single crochet also remember to carry the non-working yarn at the back now starting from this round we are going to start making a decrease so to make a decrease just insert your hook and pull up a loop and then insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop and then you have three loops on your hook now you're going to pick up the next color so yarn over and pull through all three loops that is how you're going to make a decrease. So now you're going to insert one single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and then pick up your next color and make five single crochet again, which means you're going to insert one single crochet in the next five stitches. And before you finish off the fifth stitch, change your color again into the white yarn and then make five single crochet. One, two, three, four, and then pick up your next color again. And then you're going to make a decrease in these two stitches. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. Also remember to carry the non-working yarn and insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then in the last stitch, you're going to insert one single crochet. So this is how it looks like. Now moving on to round 12, you're going to chain one and turn your work to the back. So in the first two stitches, you are going to insert one single crochet and remember to carry your non-working yarn. So now insert the first single crochet and then for the second single crochet, you're going to pick up the second color and then bring the non-working yarn to the back. Right now, I am working at the back side of my project. How do I know this is the back side? Because of the excess yarn. And also you can see at the side, it looks unneed. So this is the back side. So when you do a decrease on the back side of your project, you don't have to carry the non-working cell as you go. So I'm going to show you why I'm going to make a decrease while carrying the non-working yarn. So that is the decrease and let me just show you the front. As you can see, there is kind of some weird bump showing through while the other square looks so neat. So we don't want this. This is why I don't recommend you guys to carry your non-working yarn as you work at the back side of your project. So now we are just going to continue making the decrease while not carrying the non-working yarn. Now at the next 3 stitches, I am going to make 1 single crochet and starting from this, you will have to carry your non-working yarn. So I'm just gonna insert 1 single crochet and as you can see, that is how the back looks like right now. And as you can see right now, there is no more weird bumps on the front of your coaster. That is why I don't recommend you guys to carry the non-working yarn when working a decrease at the back side of your project. Now you're just going to continue inserting one single crochet in the next two stitches and before you finish off the single crochet, pick up your next color and then you're going to insert one single crochet in the next five stitches. One. Two. Three four and then before you finish off the last stitch pick up your next color and then go ahead and make three single crochet one two and three 
and then you're going to make a decrease in the next two stitches also remember not to carry your non-working yarn so before you finish off the decrease you're going to change your color into your next color so just go ahead and yarn over with your next color and pull through the three loops then bring the non-working yarn to the back now you are going to insert one single crochet in the next two stitches one and before you finish off the last stitch go ahead and pick up your next color so just yarn over and pull through the two loops then chain one and turn your work now in the first two stitches you're going to insert a decrease and then before you finish up the decrease just yarn over and pull through the three loops then go ahead and insert four single crochet meaning you're going to insert one single crochet in the next four stitches then before you finish off the last stitch go ahead and pick up your next color and then insert one single crochet in the next five stitches two three four and before you finish off the last stitch go ahead and change your color and then make four single crochet again in the last stitch you're going to pick up your next color and then in the last two stitches you're going to insert a decrease now with your other color yarn over and pull through all three loops now chain one and turn your work to the back now in the first two stitches you're going to insert a decrease so you don't have to carry the non-working yarn then you're going to insert one single crochet in the next three stitches and you will have to carry the non-working yarn so the first single crochet and then second and before you finish off the last stitch go ahead and pick up your next color so just yarn over and push your two then bring the non-working yarn to the back and then make five single crochet basically inserting one single crochet in the next five stitches and for the last stitch pick up your next color then you're going to insert one single crochet in the next three stitches one two and three and then in the last two stitches you're going to make a decrease and you don't have to carry the non-working yarn now chain one and turn your work now you're going to insert one single crochet in the first two stitches one and two and then you're going to make a decrease And then pick up your next color now you're going to make five single crochet so just insert one single crochet in the next five stitches then before you finish up the last stitch pick up your next color and then you're going to make a decrease Now you're going to insert one single crochet in each of the last two stitches. So now chain one and turn your work. So in the first two stitches, you're going to insert a decrease and you don't have to carry the non-working yarn. So just make one decrease and then in the next stitch, insert one single crochet. And pick up your next color and then continue by making five single crochet one two three four and then before you finish up the single crochet yarn over and push through two with your next color now you're going to insert one single crochet in the first stitch and then make a decrease
So chain one and then now you're going to grab your scissors and cut your yarn. Now pull through the loop and tighten the chain one that we just did so that it's really secure. So this is how the coaster looks like and right now you can see that the circle doesn't really look like a circle. It looks really lumpy but don't worry I will show you how to fix this later on once we did the ruffles. So first in the second stitch right there. This is the first stitch and this is the second stitch. You're going to insert your hook right there and then grab your yarn and make a loop like that and put it onto your hook. Now hold the tail at the back so that you have more control over it and pull up a loop. Now chain one. Then you have to carry the tail and also excess yarn while you work over the single crochet. This is really important so that the chain one is not loose and it's really secure. Now in the next stitch, we're going to insert one single crochet. Now just continue inserting the single crochet until you have a total of 8 single crochet at the top, including the chain one. So for the ruffles, you're just going to insert one single crochet in each of the stitch or any space that you can find don't worry i will show you how to find the spaces at the side later on so at the top you will have a total of nine stitches later on but right now i just have eight because i will add one more single crochet later on at the end and then at the bottom you will also have a total of nine stitches so you have to make sure that you insert nine single crochet at the top and also nine single crochet at the bottom so to find each of the spaces on where you are going to insert your single crochet, you can refer to the spaces in between each of the rows. You can see that there is kind of like some line, right? You're going to insert the single crochet right here. Right here. And then again, right here. And right here. So you're just going to follow the line as your guide or spaces in between each of the rows that is where you're going to insert your single crochet so go ahead and insert your single crochet all around and you have to make sure that you count your stitches and make sure that at the end you have a total of 48 stitches this is really important because in order to make the ruffles you need four spaces of four stitches which means the end number have to be divisible by four that is why you need 48 stitches at the end. So right now, I have a total of 48 stitches. If you have more than 48 stitches, you can lessen your stitches by removing some of the stitches. And if you have less than 48 stitches, you can just add your stitches anywhere that you can find space. Now, moving on, you are going to insert a slip stitch in the first stitch that we just did. This is your chain one. This is your first stitch. So insert your hook into your first stitch, then over and pull up a loop, and then pull through the one loop that you have on your hook. Now chain one, and then in the same space as the chain one, you're going to insert a slip stitch. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, and pull through. Now you're going to skip the next stitch, and in the next stitch, you're going to insert six double crochet. So yarn over, again yarn over. Insert your hook and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. That is how you're going to make double crochet. So just continue inserting until you have six double crochet in the same space. Then once you have 6 double crochet, you're going to skip the next stitch and in the next stitch, you're going to insert a slip stitch. And then you're going to skip the stitch and then in the next stitch, insert 6 double crochet. So 1, 2, three, four five and the last double crochet so skip this stitch and in the next stitch you're going to make a slip stitch 
so that is basically how we're going to do the ruffles so you can continue this step until the end of this round and i'll see you once you're done now i am on my last ruffles i'm gonna skip that and make six sub crochet in the next stitch so this is my first double crochet two three four five and six so you're gonna skip that stitch and that is the slip stitch that we did in the last round so you're gonna ignore that now you're going to make a slip stitch in the first slip stitch that we did earlier in the round so insert your hook you just insert your hook and make a slip stitch now grab your scissors and cut your yarn while leaving some excess yarn so that you can weave it in later so just pull through the loop like so then take your darning needle and shred your yarn So, you're going to insert your darning needle in the place where you just did the slip stitch. So, just insert it and pull through from the back. And I'm just going to adjust this so that it looks neat. Now, you're going to weave in the excess yarn. So, to weave in the excess yarn, you're just going to insert your needle at the back of the stitches. Just don't insert it at the front. Just go through the stitches from the back. This is how you're going to hide the excess yarn. So I still have quite a few excess yarn at the back but I already carried it as I walk over the single crochet so I don't need to weave it in again. But if you don't carry your excess yarn as you walk over the single crochet then I recommend you guys to weave in the excess yarn first so that your work doesn't unravel later on. Now my cluster still doesn't lay flat and it still look lumpy and if yours look like this it's totally normal so I'm going to show you how to fix this. So I don't mind the wet background because I just steamed the hard coaster and if you guys want to make this, the link is in the description box or on top of your right corner. To start, you're just going to wet your coaster so I'm just going to spray it with a spray bottle so remember to spray it at the front and also at the back. If you don't have a spray bottle, you can just soak it in water and just remember to wring it out so that it's not soaking wet. Then I'm just gonna use my steamer and if you don't have a steamer, an iron is fine too. So I'm just gonna steam the circle coaster until it is fully flat. And if you use an iron, just don't press it too hard. Just press it on lightly. Once you have done the front, remember to flip it to the back and also steam the back too. Now what you're gonna do is just let it fully cool down. And once it is cold, it is ready to use. So thank you for watching.